Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are here with a new update video. Yes, the update is out and it is the summer of dinosaurs. So we're going to be going over the Brawl Talk. We're going to be reacting and trying to figure out if we can find anything in the Brawl Talk that might be of use. Now, I know exactly as much as you guys. So this is just going to be my personal reaction and my personal thoughts to everything. If you guys have any comments or anything you guys might have picked up, let me know in the comment section below. But with that being said, let's hop into it and let's see what we can find. So kicking off Season 7 Summer of Monsters, we have the new brawler, Buzz. Now, Buzz kind of looks like a cross between two brawlers that we already have in the game, Rosa and Jean. So her shot animation kind of looks like Rosa, where she's kind of throwing out punches. His goes left to right. So instead of just punches going forward and covering the entire distance, he has some punches going to the left all the way to the right. Kind of how pan shots move back and forth, except it's just going from left to right. Now you can also see it's doing 588 damage per shot. So I think you have the ability to do just over 2k damage per shot, but 588 per each shot. So I guess the further you are, you're going to have to kind of angle yourself or angle the way you're pointing or angle the way your brawler's body is moving. But if you're right beside someone, I think you can just mash auto aim and be able to hit all four shots dealing 2k damage. So obviously this brawler is really strong up close. So for Buzz's super, it's kind of like a reverse gene where he throws his lifeguard equipment at the enemy brawler. And if you guys see from this photo here, it looks to be a little bit longer than Gene's super, but also a little bit thinner. So probably harder to hit and you grapple onto them and basically just start punching them in the face once you get right onto them. This has really good range, probably one of the longest ranges for anything in the game. It's pretty long and it looks pretty powerful. Now, I don't know necessarily if this is going to be the greatest to do into every brawler, because if you do this into a Shelly, you could get Shelly supered into the face, but it could be really good against brawlers like Piper or really low DPS brawlers that won't be able to compete if you're face to face with it. This is obviously going to be a great, fantastic way for you to be able to kill enemy brawlers. Now, as for this dotted circle that kind of hovers around Buzz, I don't know exactly what it does. Watching this, I am not able to tell at all what this does. So hopefully we can learn that eventually when we get some more sneak peeks of the brawler. But as for now, I don't think we have any idea as for what this is whatsoever. Maybe something to do with a star power or a gadget. But for now, we have no clue. So now we have a lot of really cool skins to show you guys. We have Born Bad Buzz, which is a very different skin than what we have for the base Buzz form. I don't know which one I'm going to be using immediately. I don't know which one I like better. But this one definitely has a certain flair to it. And it's a lot different than the base skin, which is something I like a lot. We have Surfer Carl, which is a really awesome skin. There's not really one Carl skin that stands out in the game as of right now. And I think this one honestly might be it. It's a really cool Carl skin. And I really like the spin and animation as he's kind of holding his surfboard and just spinning it around. We also have Dino Leon. Now, I think this one's a little bit similar to Werewolf Leon. I probably like the Werewolf one more, but Dino Leon definitely looks really cool. It's one that I'm 100% going to buy. We have Beach Time Mortis, who's holding a little bit of a shovel, which is a really interesting skin. I don't know if I'm going to be rocking this one, but again, this one is a must buy for me. I'm definitely going to be adding it to my Mortis collection. We have Coco Rosa, and this one is definitely going to be my new Rosa skin. Toonie, I don't know if you are watching this, but definitely be rocking this skin when it comes out. I really like it. You're throwing coconuts, punching coconuts at your other brawlers. This is one that I'm definitely going to be using a really cool skin. We have Jet Ski Jackie, which I am definitely going to be using this skin as well. I'm really rocking with kind of the summertime vibes that we have in this update. The skins are looking super cool with it. Now for the final summer skin, we have Whale Watch Nina. Now I, again, really like this skin. This one has already been shown as the giveaway winner. I know some people weren't too happy about it as they were a ton of really good Nita skins, but I really, really like this one, and I'm happy it's going to be in the game. It might be my new main Nita skin. Additionally, we have Burger Lou, which is definitely going to be replacing Smooth Lou. I just mean, look at that Lou super. It's amazing. I like the way it looks. I love the way it looks, and I just like walking around being a burger, so I'm definitely going to be rocking this one over the Smooth Lou. We have Herms Max, which is definitely the best Max skin in the game. I'm going to be rocking this skin 100%. I get into arguments all the time about Max. This one is definitely the best skin. I don't want to hear it. This one is awesome. And then finally, we have Mega Box Daryl. I feel like Daryl always has the wackiest cool skins. First, the soccer ball Daryl. Now, Mega Box Daryl. Again, I'm definitely going to be trying this one out and rocking it. It looks super funny and I cannot wait to try it in game. We also have Trash Poco, which I actually like a lot. Now, I really like the Valentine's Poco, the one with the rose in his mouth, 
but I really like this one as well. I'm definitely going to be using it a little bit. We have Wicked Stew, which again, a really good skin. I'm loving all the skins in this update, to be honest, but Wicked Stew is also one that I'm definitely 100% going to be using as my new main stew skin. And this one isn't part of the band, but we have Vicious BB. This one's actually a really cool skin. I like it a lot. No, I do love Heroin BB, so I don't know if this is going to be my new BB skin, but again, it's definitely going to be one that I'm buying 100%. I love this skin, and I can't wait to try it out in the game. The best part about this skin is that you can also get it in the challenge. Now, this is three losses and 15 wins, so it's going to be pretty difficult for a majority of you guys to beat, but don't worry. We're going to be making a YouTube video covering all the best comps for the maps once we know exactly what it's going to be, so I got you guys covered on that one, and it should be fairly easy wins. And now we have a few different soccer or football, however you call it, skins that are going to be arriving. They're going to be based off of teams in Latin America. So I don't know if you guys watch. I'm sure if you do, this is going to be the most hype thing in the world. For me, particularly, I'm not the biggest soccer fan. I don't know who any of these teams are, but the skins are really cool. So I'm definitely going to be picking up a couple of them. So Knockout is going to be permanent now. And I don't know exactly what these spikes are. I think this is the first time we've ever seen them, but it looks like a really cool new map feature. So I'm excited to see more about that. But Knockout, again, is going to be permanent mode. Whether you like it or not, it is here to stay. And apart from new challenge, we are also getting the Brawl Stars Championship Challenge reward revamped. So we're going to have three new modes coming to Brawl Stars, and that's kind of crazy. So the first one we're going to have is going to be Volley Brawl. Now, Volley Brawl is exactly like how Volleyball would be. You have to try and get the ball to land on your opponent's side of the field or court or whatever it's called. I don't really know. I guess in this case, it's going to be called a map. Now, based off of what we're seeing here, I think the ball is going to be in the air for about 10 seconds. So there's no passing. There's none of that. You just have to stand under the ball. And when it's shot from your side or from the other side, sorry, to your side, you just have to go in position and just stand under it before you get killed. Now, you obviously if you get killed you're not going to be able to shoot it back to the other side and if it drops you're going to get a point point. and we don't see what it's up to we don't really see anything like that so that's going to be left for mystery but from what we know the ball is going to be in the air roughly 10 seconds i think and it should be fairly simple to hit the ball back as long as you could avoid death now our next mode is going to be a basketball mode and this one i am super excited for Brawl Ball is probably my favorite mode in the game, and it might be because I'm a sports fan, so I'm super excited for basketball and volleyball as well. But for this one, again, it's pretty simple. You just have to shoot the ball into your opponent's net. Now, there's a line kind of like the Siege Ike line that is outside the net. I don't know exactly what that line represents. If you step in the line, maybe you get shot at by something. I don't really know. Just like in Siege, if you step in the Ike distance, you get shot. Or maybe if you score from outside, it's worth multiple points. Judging from what we can see in the video so far, we can, we can see that you can super shot it from the outside. So my guess is it's going to be kind of like a three-pointer in basketball where it's worth more points than if you were to score on the inside. Because on the inside, obviously, you should be able to do a normal shot. So that's going to be my guess. But this is going to be a super hype mode. I can already tell this one should just be permanent. Just leave it in the game. Don't even test it out. Additionally, the net is going to be moving back and forth. It's not going to be a stationary net, which obviously adds some skill into it. I like that a ton, and I am super excited for this mode to enter the game. And our final new mode is going to be Hold the Trophy, where you're basically just going to be holding a trophy and walking around. Whoever holds the trophy for the longest amount of time wins. Now, if you're holding the trophy, just like you, you should expect, you should get handicapped in a way. You're going to be slower. You obviously can't attack if you're holding the trophy. So you want something, you know, something meaty, something high HP, like a Rosa, like a Primo, like a Frank, kind of walking around and holding your trophy while you have high DPS, maybe like a Colt or a BB protecting that guy or that brawler, I should say, holding the trophy. Now, this one's going to be fairly interesting. I'm not as excited for this one as the other two, but I'm pretty excited to try it out. Reminds me a little bit of present plunder, but without scoring it into a certain zone so i'm going to be pretty excited for this one can't wait to try it but the other two i am definitely much more excited for now speaking of present plunder we have trophy thieves now this is going to be exactly like present plunder but instead of a present we are going to have a trophy now the trophy is going to be the esports brawl stars trophy that they talk about the mystery trophy that got stolen and whatnot they want to you know kind of bring that storyline more to life and bring it into the actual game so here it is it is going to be a trophy instead of a present now i like present plunder i wasn't the biggest fan of it but i definitely enjoyed it so it's gonna be pretty awesome seeing this mode in the game basically four new modes that we have to play i'm super hyped i don't know exactly how the slots are going to work i guess we're gonna figure that out shortly but i'm definitely hyped to try out four new modes 
Now for you absolute map maker enthusiasts, and I know there are some of you, there are going to be modifiers finally added to map maker. So you guys are going to be able to have a ton of fun with all these modifiers. Some of them you've already seen and some of them are new. On top of that, we are also getting five new objects. We're getting healing, spikes, speed, damage cloud, and slow. So this should be pretty awesome as you know, there's going to be a ton of new stuff in the map maker. And I know a ton of you are going to be extremely excited for that. I can't wait to see some of the new community maps that are going to make it. I'm sure they're going to be absolutely crazy. And I challenge you guys to make the craziest map with all the new features that you guys can. And just when we thought we are done, we are getting another new brawler and he is going to be the third member of the gift shop trio. His name is Griff. Now, Griff is Edgar and Colette's boss, and I think this is actually a really skillful and really interesting brawler. Now, as you guys can see on your screen right now, Griff actually reminds me of Pam quite a lot with the shot. Now, obviously, it's not as long and it's not as wide, but the fact that it's multiple shots shooting out, and if you hit all of them, your DPS is going to be very high, but you can also at the same time be a chip brawler if you want, really, really reminds me of Pam's playstyle. Now, Griff doesn't have as much HP as Pam does, but I think the DPS is higher if you hit every single shot. So I think Griff does have a higher potential than Pam does for just absolutely slaying, but this is definitely a really interesting brawler. Now, judging by what we see on our screen here, each coin is going to do 308 damage. You shoot three rounds of three coins. So if you hit every single coin, you are doing more than 2,700 damage. So obviously the DPS is very high. I don't know exactly how fast the reload is. So if you have really fast reload and you can just spam those shots, you can do 7.5K damage extremely fast. So you can basically be able to take out any single brawler in the game if you have fast reload. Now we don't know the reload speed. We don't know what it is yet. So it's gonna be really interesting to see, but this is definitely a high DPS, very diverse brawler. Now onto Griff Super. This looks really overpowered. This looks super strong and I think it does a lot of damage. So it has a very wide and long shot. Now it can't go through walls, but on the way back, it actually can come through the walls. So that's going to be really interesting to see how people are going to be playing with that mechanic. But this looks like it can do a ton of damage. The further the cards go, the more damage they do. And I believe you can hit multiple cards if you're up close. So I think this is just a really high DPS super. I'm excited to see more gameplay of Griff. I think he's going to be a really good brawler if played correctly. And I can't wait to see what his star powers and gadget does. But his super looks really good. His shots look really good. And I am super pumped for this brawler now perhaps the best part about griff is again there is going to be a challenge for it you have three losses and you need to get 15 wins so again it is going to be really difficult but again just like for the bb skin i'm going to be doing a youtube video guide on how to beat this showing you guys the best comps for free to play and for max players so you guys should be able to do it if you guys can use all the tips that i give you and all the comps that i give you guys so don't worry i got you guys covered on this one now if you guys don't win it don't worry it's going to be available in the shop and in boxes so you might get it for free but if not you might have to spend a couple of your gems in order to get it and don't forget to use code bobby when you do so now there's going to be 10 new gadgets in the game i don't know exactly what any of them do but as you guys can see we have the cactus i don't know what it does it is a cactus it looks like a cactus it probably is a cactus um that spike gives again we don't know what it is can't wait to see that i don't know what stews is over here and as for roughs i mean again i don't know what it is but it looks like there's a lot of projectiles that are about to hit the ground so maybe like a mass air attack i don't know how roughs can have a mass air attack but i guess we will wait and see Cannot wait for these 10 new gadgets. I was actually waiting a long time and really wondering when the 10 new ones were going to come out. But here we go. As for pins, every single brawler is going to get an additional rare pin, which is pretty cool because pins are life. We buy pin packs every time. Brawl Stars, please stop taking my money. And on top of that, we're going to get some new animated pins. New animated pins are always amazing. I can't wait to see if any of the ones I currently already have turn into an animation pin that would be epic but pins are life and i'm very happy that we're going to be getting some pin updates and additionally we're going to be getting two new true gold skins we're going to be getting true gold colt which i absolutely cannot wait for hopefully it doesn't take me as long to get this as it did for true gold gene and then we're also going to get true gold mr p which actually looks really good but i like a lot of the already made mr p skin so i'm probably gonna stick with those but we will see so that is going to be it for me today this is my first ever brawl talk release video if you guys enjoyed this let me know and i will definitely do a lot more content like this and if there's anything you guys want me to add on to these 
let me know. But anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys use code Bobby in the shop. I will be here again, hopefully again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.